well, it's been some time since we've done something like this, but we finally got a pop here that I couldn't wait to show off for you guys because it's one I've waited for for quite some time. I've mentioned it before in videos that I wish Funko would have made this one. They never did, but finally they did. And finally, we get to show it off for you guys today. Stick around, check it out. Be right back right after this. <laughs> What's poppin'? What's rockin'? What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to another Funko First Look. It's been quite some time since we've done one of these, but we finally have a character that we've been waiting for for quite some time to make. We've actually brought it up in other videos that I wish Funko would have made this character. They never did, but guess what? It finally came in, and we get to finally show it off for you guys today, give you a first look what it looks like. Full detail, taking it out of the box, spinning it around on a spindle, showing it to you guys. I'm happy. I'm excited. I can't wait to show it off for you guys. Like I said, it's one I've been waiting for for quite some time. But before we get into it, if it's your first time here, if you like what you see today, if you like Funko Pops, if you like comic books, if you like collecting in general, click on that subscribe button down below. That's what it's there for. If you also like this review, give us a nice solid thumbs up. Looks something like that there. Just if you like what you see today, give us a comment down below. Have you been waiting for this character for a long time? I have. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. I mean, I've been talking about this character for a while. I'm a huge X-Men fan. I'm a huge Marvel fan. You guys all know that. If it's not your first time here, you know, obviously, I'm a Marvel guy. Uh, X-Men is one of my go-to besides Spider-Man. Um, I love him. It was, I've been a fan since the comic books for years, the animated series, the movies, everything. And this was one character I always wished that they made. This is one character, showed up in the early 90s, um, was big on the animated series. Um, had went on, I mean, she was primarily a member of the X-Men and went on to like generation x stuff like that other teams stuff i think uh new warriors at one point too um but primarily known as being part of the x-men i think my love for this character too has to do with her close ties to wolverine i'm a huge wolverine fan you guys know that um so that's why i just think it's like super cool that they finally made it it was only in due time this character hasn't had much love as far as in the whole X-Men movie scene, bit part cameos, that's it. Nothing huge, nothing major. Um, but finally get her in Funko form, which I've been waiting for for quite some time. And here it is. I'm happy. I'm excited. It's finally here. The little mall rat herself, the young Jubilation Lee also known as Jubilee. Awesome. Very, very cool. I'm gonna pop, I can't wait to pop this out of the box. I'm so happy to finally get this in. Now, Jubilee first made her appearance. I'm so happy that I actually have the book that I show you guys too. First appearance, it was in Marvel Comics, Uncanny X-Men number 244. As Jubilation Lee, she was created by Chris, Chris Claremont. Uh, Mark Silvestri, awesome character. Like I said, powers and stuff like that. Pyrotechnic powers that she make explode out of her hand. How cool is that? Explosion. One power that they touched on briefly in the comic books, they never really went in depth with and never took anywhere. She could block telepathy. Like telepathic like sentinels and stuff like that. She could block all that out, but they never really went anywhere with that. I think they just actually even stopped talking about it. But her main power is fireburst, or not fireburst, but pyrotechnic energy out of her hands. Make explosions. Those explosions would come in sparkles and stuff like that. But very cool. They even caught the sparkles and everything on there. Super cool. Like I said, she never got any love. 
never got any Funko love, but they've made other ones and stuff like that. That to me, it's like, okay, Funko, let's go. Let's get the ball rolling on Jubilee here. Because to me, I mean, it took them long enough to make Gambit and Rogue. You know, Gambit, people asked for for who knows how long we finally got him. So it's just a matter of time. They got some uh, new ones released. I think Longshot was another one. Um, I forget there was another one in this whole run that they're releasing. But this was the one I had to have. Like I said, I couldn't wait for it. Um, I had to have it. I had to give you guys a first look at it. And we're going to pop this bad girl out and show it off for you guys. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. This is all, this just takes me back to my childhood. Like, who doesn't run on the X-Men animated series? You know, like I said, she was that orphaned mall rat. Oh, well, they actually have her on like a little stand here too, which is cool. Probably helps her stand because she's actually very top heavy. But as you can see, awesome detail with the energy coming out of her hands. She can control where the energy comes, goes. Very awesome. Very, very cool looking. Just right down to the yellow trench coat that she's known for and this glasses. Short hair. Very cool. Listen, she was dressed like a 90, 90s mall rat would have been, you know. That's how they basically developed her and made her character. Um, like I said, she never got any love or anything in the X-Men movies besides little bit cameos and that's it. I kind of wish maybe like in the Deadpool movies they would have maybe used her instead of uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I think that could have been fun. Um, but very cool. I'm going to pop her up on a spindle so you guys can get a better, closer look at her and see her from all the way around. Check it out. Awesome. There she is. Little Miss Jubilation Lee. Jubilee herself. Very cool. Very awesome. Very glad to have her finally. Finally have her in my X-Men collection. I might just maybe keep her out of the box next to Wolverine. I don't know. We'll see. Very cool. Very glad to finally have her. I'm glad Funko's doing some new molds. New characters. Like I said, it kind of keeps me excited as far as collecting goes. Because what keeps us excited? New molds, new stuff. Don't just keep putting, you know, black light molds on or black light paint on old molds and stuff like that. It gets so boring after a while. Who's tired of black light? I'm tired of black light. You know, it's kind of like the gold chrome. Got tired of that. It was cool at first, but then you just beat it to death. Stop beating things to death and creating more things like this because that's what to us is cool. We love these characters. We collect these characters. We grew up with these characters. Keep making characters like these. I don't even know if on the back if it has the new ones that are coming out. No, it doesn't. But they did add Rogue and Gambit to it. So, very cool. Jubilee, finally here. Only took them who knows how many years. Plenty of time. There's a whole bunch of X-Men characters that hopefully they do come out with. Um... But we'll see. And all in due time. You know, if we've just got to apparently wait for it, they'll eventually come. Uh, there's other ones coming out, too. I think this one is going to be uh, exclusive to Walgreens. Walgreens gets all the cool Marvel stuff for some reason. Um, they get cool Spider-Man stuff. They get the cool X-Men stuff. And guess what? Our Walgreens sucks. I haven't seen a pop in Walgreens in who knows how long. Um, they originally had the same three Star Wars pops on the shelves for who knows how long. Every once in a while, I'll find a surprise, and it's there, but no, not anymore. Uh, I haven't seen a pop in Walgreens in at least seven months, so that's why I went ahead and ordered this ahead of time, and I got to show it off for you guys here first. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys are all doing well. Enjoying it. Enjoy collecting. Keep having fun. Collecting what you love. Collecting new molds, because finally, new molds. None of that black light garbage. Love you guys. Keep on popping. Keep on rocking. We'll see you in the next video.